Hi, I'm Scott Warren, world famous artist, and uh, my partner Marley Warren and I are collaborating on a project. It's a idea that I have for the, it's a portrait of the city of Grand Rapids. And you can see over here, uh, if I can get my cameraman to point it out, the, the frame and the mat that we have is really nice and long. You can hang it tall or you can hang it horizontally. Now this one was laid out horizontally. You have this photograph of some building over in, uh, over in Jenison, I believe. And uh, it was alright, but we're going to put all these little buildings here and make a portrait of the city of Grand Rapids. We're going to have the river on it. Marley and I are working on this together, and he's been helping me. He's finding all these great pictures of cities in you know, National Geographic and some of the other magazines. We have some pictures of some old buildings from foreign countries. We have some pictures of some Grand Rapids buildings. And we're going to put it together and have a whole nice portrait of the city of Grand Rapids. Alright, so we're going to lay out our picture. We're actually going to glue it on this photograph. But before I do that, I'm going to use the photograph for a model. The stuff that's in the middle is dead on square, but the stuff that's over on one side or the other is tilted, so you got to worry about the perspective. So what I want to see is what side would this building be on if I'm looking at it. Obviously it's not dead on. I think it kind of matches the way the corner is with the facades, so I think this piece would go here better. I think this one's rounded, but I think we could put it like over here. So I think like that's the kind of thing I want to figure out is layout where the building is actually. Uh, what we're doing here now is we need the sky to go behind the city and instead of having like one cohesive picture or like the flower idea we wanted to go with, we're just going to throw down tons of randomly cut out shapes of, of text, just randomly choke. And what we're going to do is just lay them down so that you, you can't even really read it and see what's going on. It's just kind of this crazy white noise kind of wall of black and white and that'll so we got our sky laid down and then we're gonna lay down our buildings so I'll start down with these two Grand Rapids buildings. Alright so what Marley and I are working on here now is getting the layering of everything so that we can produce a, a sort of field of depth. We did our, our text for the sky just kind of chaotically arrange that so it isn't just a plain, white, boring background. And then that was our first layers, which are kind of the background to, to kind of give some depth. And then in front of that we'll have some of the smaller buildings and then the river itself, the actual Grand River here in Grand Rapids. We kind of got our a secret version of that we're working on next. Kind of a kind of an abstract idea. But we're doing farthest things first, and then the mid-range, and then the closer, and then finally with the river we'll have the closest layer. And hopefully we can trick your eye into thinking that this is a very dimensional picture, a very deep picture. What are you doing, Marley? I'm folding it up a couple, folding the blue paper up a couple times. What are you gonna do with these thin strips of blue paper? We're gonna make them into a, a river. What you doing there, Mar? I'm make, I'm cutting up little pieces of blue paper, but I'm crinkling the the pieces of paper up because we're just gonna kind of uh, co uh, cover, do a second layer of our river over here that we've already started on. What's the second layer gonna do? It's gonna kinda add more three kind of like a three D effect. Where'd you come up with this idea? Uh, I just kinda thought of it. <laughs> Alright, we uh finished off our waves which was the second layer on our river, which was multiple strips of different colors of blue with different textures. Some were from a, uh, a gin ad, some were some blue sky or some river or some mountains, some snow, we just put it all together and then Marley cut out these crazy little wrinkly triangle shapes and I threw them all on an angle, going the same way so it looks like it's waves and that it's going from left to right. 
And we've got all these different colors and textures, so it kind of suggests ripples and waves and, and swirls in the river. And hopefully it gives it kind of a feeling of movement, like I said, from left to right across the piece. Uh, it's pretty much done now. We just got to let it dry. And then we'll try to flatten it out by putting some weight on it, or maybe kind of rolling it and unrolling it to flatten it out. And then we'll put it in a nice frame over here and hang it up on the wall. And Marley's hanging it up on his wall, and it'll be good. Tape it down so it's nice and tight inside the mat. I'm talking to Marley's art dealer right now. What? This is Marley Warren. Hundred thousand. Please, that's chump change. <laughs>